This is one of the most epic lunches I've ever had. The view, the meal, Hey guys, Woo. this right here is fan mail. In Costa Rica, in the area that I live, you cannot get mail shipped here. So you can't go on Amazon and order something. The, the ad addresses barely exist. Somehow, this piece of mail made it. But there's something very funny about this. So this made it to Shaka Beach Retreat somehow and we're friends with the owner, so like a uh, piece of mail made it here and your name's on it. I think this belongs to you. And what's really funny is on the front of it, it says <laughs> July 5th of 2016. So if that's the date it was sent out, here, I'll try to get a close up on that. If that's the day this was sent out, that means it has taken around a year for this mail to make it here. Vegas film critic, Vegas film critic, Thank you very much for the mail. I still have not opened this, but I just thought that was so funny that a piece of mail made it down here. Woo! I'm not really sure what's inside of here. Maybe some type of poster, maybe a map to a hidden treasure. Very exciting. Oh. <gasps> All right, so there are, there's a poster, a surfer on a surfboard, as hopefully you can see. What was once in the deep is now in the shallow. The shallows? Atua, aloha. I took a chance to mail you something and I know you said not to even try it because of the crazy mail system in Costa Rica. Jeffrey, thank you very much for the nice letter. This was written on July 1st of 2016. This is nearly one year old. Exactly one year old. How crazy is that? Anyways, very cool. I've got some posters and now I'll have to go look up that movie and see what The Shallows is all about. Oh, what's up? <laughs> All right, so I'm still blown away that I was able to get mail all the way down here in Costa Rica, even though it just took an entire year to make it here. I'm surprised it didn't get lost or something, but two of my friends just came over, so now we're gonna do a little bit of an exploration up. So we've explored this one river with a massive cliff, but what we're thinking about is going to the same spot, but then going a diff in a different direction, maybe finding some new interesting spots. Today, Rocking the shoes because we may be going up some pretty sketchy jungly spots. So if there's any like snakes or who knows what, then that's why I want to have some shoes. All right, we are ready. It's not very often I go on hikes with shoes, but today we are. Of course, we are not forgetting our snacks. Come on, apples. Just stay in the bag. There we go. Just enough space. It's always a good healthy snack for later, right? Healthy snacks? Are we working on our healthy snacks? Healthy snacks. Abilities? Within one rain, maybe two, all this dirt here washed away. So this was already a drain to drain water through the side of this little pathway. But then this entire part just gone. The power of water. Just, how, how did this happen? Water, no, nothing but water. Crazy, the stuff water can do. Completely. Oh, thanks. Yeah, buddy. Teamwork makes your dream work. I'm 
not sure how this works out for maybe other sports or other people, but maybe with like motorcycling, you're just like, oh, I cannot wait to get on the trail. I'm gonna get on the road, get going. With hiking or even just exploring, it's the same. It's like, I just cannot wait to get out and get going. Even though it's super tiring, super exhausting, it's just so nice to get out and get going. Oh, it's fun. Ah, I know the same goes for whenever we go mountain biking. It's just like, cannot wait to get on the road and get going. My nest appears to be abandoned. <coughs> abandoned. I guess they left it. Ugh. Yep, no termites left. So cool, all these vines, they can just wrap around each other and just grow straight up. They don't, these ones, they don't really need to grow up a tree or anything. They can just grow, grow, be on their way. So just so you guys know, we know the owner of this property and he said it's totally cool for us to explore around here. It's just a big piece of property that he owns, but he said it's totally fine if we want to explore around it. Whew. And he said it, it's good because some people just come down and cut down their things, so he said it's good we're here. Just to make sure nobody comes in. Whew, that's a nice view. So guys, these are the stickers of Costa Rica that stick to your clothes, your socks, shoes. They stick to everything. All right, we've made it to a checkpoint. Time to have a mid-stop snack, an apple. Mm. The only snack that I brought. We have no more food or snacks left. Maybe we'll find a wild edible. Next stop is down to the river, and at the river we'll be able to get more water because we're running slightly low on water because we're sweating so much, exerting so much energy. We're drinking more water than I think we normally would. But yeah, so far, so good. A good exploration journey. Okay guys, this is one of those times I'm glad I brought shoes because look at the size of these spikes. So, they're not even like spikes, they're basically needles. There's so many of those everywhere. If you were to step on that, that could actually go all the way through your foot. Most likely not, but pretty sketchy. So, yeah, pretty glad and happy about the shoes. Ah! Okay, um, maybe we'll just go through the, okay, <laughs> I was gonna try to go through the river spot, but because I got some shoes on for this time, I can actually just hike right up the side of this mountain. So, whoa, lots of spikes. Ooh, not only do we have those little spikes, but we also have pachotes back here. These spikes are just as painful. Because sometimes I go barefoot and other times I wear shoes, I can totally see the pros and cons and the differences between wearing both of them. I find with shoes, I'll just tromp through somewhere without looking where I'm stepping. I'll still keep an eye on it to make sure there's not something really dangerous, but 
I don't worry as much about stepping on spikes, whereas when I'm barefoot, when I'm barefoot, I find I can, my feet seem to grip better to the rocks and the dirt, whereas these shoes, they feel rather slippery. Plus, I don't have my toes to grip onto the little rock edges and stuff, so it's much easier to slip. I'm sure there's some shoes that have some pretty grippy grips, but the, oh, oh, whoa. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, just go super slow, super slow. Hold it onto this tree. Then I'm gonna swing around. Oh. All right, it is time to filter some water. I've got a platypus, which is just placed right here. Hopefully we'll fill up with water. Should be enough for a good swig. Tasty, good old water. Now it's time to refill the water bottles that have been emptierized on our hike. So, been hanging out just at that little bit of a waterfall there. Now we're going to continue up the river, see what we find. You know what we've found is that if you just follow rivers, a lot of the times you'll end up finding a, a waterfall at some point. Here, so Whew. let's walk up to the road and then we'll follow the water of the river through the road. of the jungle and we're gonna get some more interesting hopefully interesting clips but we're thinking about trying to order a pizza for maybe the delivery guys will bring it all the way out here you guys we're up this back road but there is like a hotel a bit ways away so we might be able to convince the pizza guy to deliver all the way to over here and if if that would work out then that would just be awesome because we brought snacks but we already ran out and it's about just a little bit past lunchtime. We haven't had any lunch, so if we can do that, that'd be great. What type of pizza do you guys want? Margarita? Uh, yeah. sure. Cheese? Hawaiian? Wait, I'm calling the place? Pepperoni. I have the number memorized. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, you a savage. How much? He memorizes pizza Shh. numbers. Zero, two hundred. All right, so we didn't have the most luck calling people here, so we're gonna keep moving and then keep on calling restaurants and seeing if we can get any of the restaurants to answer and see if they do delivery. Luckily, one of them said yes, but they have to call their delivery guy to see what that guy said. Yeah, they're gonna see if they can do the delivery. That's gonna be cool if we can do it, dude. Yeah, it'd be awesome if we can get some food delivered out here. It may not be pizza, but it may have to be some other type of food. Like burger, pasta or something, who knows. down from a tree but it almost looks like it was it's burnt like it there was a fire and then it flew up into the air and landed there but that's actually where it was the burgers have made it yeah boys we got the food all right guys, I'm blown away that the delivery guy was able to bring 
the food. So now we got our lunch slash dinner, lunar type thing. It's like three o'clock, so. Yeah, we're gonna go find a spot to chillax at and then we will dig in. Mm, I can already smell it. Actually, it's still warm. Surprisingly. So we got off the main road and we're heading over to our hangout spot. There's a really nice view and we there's a log that you can that we can hang out on. So we'll be able to hang out there and enjoy our lunch. Been waiting all day for this moment. But it's the moment isn't here yet. Mm. Oh my gosh, the second we got here, it started raining quite a bit more. Have our food. Oh no! It's raining. Hope the camera doesn't get too soaked. But quick shot of the view. about this spot is there's a running river right here so you, right after you eat marathon? you can rinse your hands off plus we can filter some water here this is one of the most epic lunches I've ever had the view the meal it's awesome <laughs> truly amazing it looks like there's a storm on its way and it's sort of raining a little bit but but these trees up here they're kind of blocking the rain so we're able to not just start getting soaked. Put a rain jacket over my bag for now. But if it starts pouring, we may have to go to this hut that's over there. But yeah, so you see that storm way out there? Way out in the ocean. No, no, no! That's a storm on its way in. How far, how, many, how, how long would you say it would take for that to get here? Half an hour to 40 minutes. Okay. Minimum. And how many miles would you say? Miles? I'd say like five, six. Five, six miles? Water. And that's a wrap for lunch. All right, got some water to filter. Oh, this water looks so refreshing. Ah! Oh. So I'm dunking my head. Oh, that feels so good. I want to go for a swim. All right, went for a very quick semi swim was able to filter some water and drink some water but the storm is getting here it's starting to rain more and more it's getting windier and windier so we're probably gonna start heading back home I, I think we're trying to waterproof everything putting stuff in waterproof bags Alright, I know today has been a crazy long day and I'm sure this video is going to end up being longer than my normal video. But what I'd like you to do is let me know in the comments what types of videos you enjoy more or most. Whether that's my shorter, really quick, fast videos or do you enjoy these videos that are maybe a little bit longer where there's a lot more stuff going on in it. Let me know because at the moment I do different, a variety of videos. I do longer ones, shorter ones, in between ones, in between. But I'd like to let, let me know what is your personal preference. Just, just like to hear your guys' opinions. Anyways, today's positive quote is, dreams don't work unless you do. What this quote means to me is, if you say, oh, I have a goal to get this item. If you really want get, to get that item, then you would be doing little things to get you closer. So if you need to save up a certain amount of money to get that item, that you could totally start today. If money that you maybe normally would spend on something else if you save it up to just get to that item even if it's something that seems even goals and dreams that seem so far it's like nearly impossible if you just start doing little things today that will get you closer to there before you know it you'll be nearly there that's just my take on it of course I'd love to hear your guys take on quotes you know I do these quotes and I give 
how, what this quote means to me. But if it means something different to you, I'd love to hear it. Love to hear your guys' opinions. Remember to keep always doing awesome stuff. See you guys tomorrow, early in the morning. Bang! If you want to see other recent videos, click here. And if you like my work and what I'm doing, please consider visiting my Patreon page. You can support me for as little as $1 and gain access to live streams, exclusive videos, and more. Click below or link in the description.